This is how does it look our condo in Bangkok for $550 per month on the short term lease uh, on Airbnb obviously. And this is the swimming pool area and it's beautiful sunset right now. So this is called communal area where we can share the swimming pool, gym and also washing machine. So first of all, here is the swimming pool. I already bring my swimming uh, suits here, later on I will swim. And yeah, I will show you after this swimming pool will be the gym room over there. Let's go. So this is very nice green seating area and behind me already MRT passing by and look at this swimming pool. It's very big swimming pool and also very clean because I see that every single day they clean the swimming pool. Very nice. Uh, that's our room over there in the 15th floor and basically this is the place normally where we chill out after working and then yeah <laughs> swimming enjoying the sunshine and enjoying the breeze and also this is the place where you can have a shower after you have a swimming and also on the left on the right side is the toilet and, and then the place where you can shower and also you can store your belongings later on and next there there is a gym yeah, there is the gym actually, but some people training, so, so yeah. And this one also social club, so this place where Damian usually, you know, work here. So this is the communal area, I mean like a living room but open to public. This is the, my favorite place where I every morning editing my video because, well, I just feel very good there. And also there is like a view of the BTS and if you're coming after the view of the sunset, swimming pool and also the games, you can play games like uh, football games on the table and, and the pool. That's actually pretty cool and everything is actually still very new over here. And also we have a laundry room here. Yeah. So it's like a communal area, but there is like a coin laundry, which is actually cool. It's very new, like currently nice. the machine of the coins is out of use, but in general, it's very nice. And it's cost you like a 40 bucks per washing. Now we are going to show you our room itself. Okay, guys, welcome to our apartment. This is our room. Actually, uh, it's yeah not so big but what i can say we have a con tv sofa bed and i think that everything is you know included here table and we have fridge um we have microwave and the bathroom also with the hot water and electricity bill is included and the most important thing also for us wi-fi wi-fi is also included with the private one super cool and our room basically viewing, viewing the MRT so <laughs> this is a very bright room if you can see it from the outside so that's the view basically from our uh, little balcony overlooking the panorama of the Bangkok city because the Bangkok city central is over there you can see uh, the skyscrapers in the background and the sunset actually right now and there is the train BTS line just there and down there we have a swimming pool where we were before actually also very cool uh, just is slightly noisy because the road is very busy and the BTS is coming in and out but uh, it's not a big problem but the noise is only when you open the window or the balcony but inside the room as you can hear is no noises or anything at night it's actually pretty quiet so we can enjoy our sleep without any problems well this is how you open the door Nice melody, huh? Yes. <laughs> Automatically lock. Very cool. And show now how to open. And then if you want to open the door, I'll show you like this. Oh. Cool. Fancy, huh? So yeah, this is it. So one thing about this apartment is look at the tile. So clean and smell good. And yeah, what I can say then, it's very clean apartment. If you're asking where we should throw the rubbish, we have a special garbage room. And also look at this. Okay. Also okay. Not so smelly. And smell. one thing, come, they also have a one special cleaning lady who responsible with this. So basically, this is the lobby actually and then there must be two or three security guy or security lady just like 
Yeah. <laughs> Just like her in the front. <laughs> Super cool, huh? Also, this is the lobby uh, area where you can sit and enjoy the free Wi-Fi. And uh, generally, if you're waiting for the car, taxi or something, yes? Yes, and this is basically the miniature of uh, our apartment building. And this is our uh, lobby. Uh, when you come by car or taxi, they will drop you here. And this is like a little park, I could say. Uh, every morning people praying here in the little temple. Also, they was cleaning currently today, this morning when we are here, you know, trimming the grass and everything. Like uh, six people were cleaning everything here. So it's actually very well, uh, it's clean and they're really taking care of the property of this condominium, which is actually very good. This is how does it look like at the front. We also have a nice supermarket and just the condo is next to the main road. So it's very easy accessible. And well, this is the shop as well, which the shop is open since seven o'clock at morning up to midnight. And also if you want to go to the metro station, it's just about a five minutes peaceful walk uh, into the Bang Na. Where are we going to show you the station right now? So we are staying in Bang Na and this train is actually right now is going to Asok and Nana and all of the center, city center. Another train is coming. And this is the map where we are. Bangna is here and you can go 9 station to Asok and 10 station to Nana and all the city center is like this one. An over train. Actually they are very frequent. Also there is some nice looking temple and some statue. Maybe school or maybe government building. Each metro station or BTS have a cash corner so it's very easy to withdraw money if we need it. And that's our condo. How it does it look like from the distance and this is the Sukhum Vit Road. Heading directly to Cambodian border. And also if we need to top up our rabbit's cars, we just go to the uh, cashier in here in the BDS station, so convenient. Alright, so if you are coming from the metro station and you are tired, you want to have a coffee, or maybe at morning, we usually coming at morning especially, they have a beautiful Tao Bean uh, machine serving very good coffee actually for 35 bahts, like for example hot cappuccino here as you can see, 35 bahts, uh, usually I'm taking less sugar nowadays. Sometimes you can take extra espresso for 15 bucks, which is actually cool. Lead, and you can pay now. And it's, you can pay by cash, by coins, by QR code, by many actually options. Uh, and also on the, there is the metro station. We're paying by using the rabbit card, what we explained you before on the very first videos when we arrived to Thailand. And also if you're going to McDonald's or Krispy Kreme or many, many other shops, you can use this card. It's very handy. Uh, here, actually, usually I pay the, by the cash. Over there, there is a parking, car park, motorbike parking, and the most important thing is we have, they have 24 by 7 security standby there. Also, we are using this coffee machine and this shop, but if you really want to go to 7-Eleven on the other direction, there is like a maybe 8 minutes walk. There is also 7-Eleven open 24 by 7, which is super cool. Also, there's a very cool thing here at next to the lobby. Uh, they having a special table for the grab food or panda food. So as you can see, the panda food, food panda guy arrived and he's just dropping the food here next to the lobby. And then they put in number, they're going to call you and then you have to come and pick up. So cool, yeah? They also have a mailbox where you can check in, you can take a key card, they usually, or if you are a tenant, and they have also library here, but I have to talk quiet, um, yeah, like this one. Okay guys, so that's the, our um, condominium, uh, about uh, nine stations from Asok on Sukhumvit Road. Um, we paid this, like I mentioned previously, 550 um, US dollars per month uh, on Airbnb for the shorter term, obviously, it's like that. But also interesting fact is in case if you would like to come to Bangkok and rent condominium, uh, you have to rent for minimum four weeks, 28 days. This is not allowed to rent the condominium for le like a one or two or three days only. So keep it in mind. Another thing is if you take this condominium and many other condominiums what they are around here uh, on the contract, usually is for the yearly contract and pay monthly. Usually one month you pay an over a month deposit and then you pay monthly, but you have to sign contract for a year. Uh, it's 30, 40, sometimes even 50% cheaper. So most likely if we decide to stay here uh, longer, well, probably, <laughs> probably thinking as we're gonna stay here for a while, uh, we're gonna look for the condominium on the contract. So you can expect another videos about the condominiums in Bangkok. Also many people recommend to us to stay in the other parts of uh, Bangkok, like on the other side of the river, 
uh, where is the close to the blue metro line. However, for me personally and for us, uh, we like to stay uh, nearby the ASOC, nearby NANA, uh, nearby city center and obviously driving the BTS line because you just jump 10, 11, 9 stations and on the one train and you don't need to changing so much, you know what I mean? Like uh, going to the river or changing three different lines of the public transport. So for us it's uh, very nice. Also we have still so many, you know, green things around, not so many buildings next to each other. So it's actually pretty cool and you can enjoy so many beautiful views around even like now <laughs> of this road. And yeah, basically like this one, what I can tell you guys. Um, if we're gonna find something different, we're gonna make another video. Well, um, recently that we've got so many message, you know, people sending us email, also people sending us message in Instagram asking that, are you coming back to Bali? Because, you know, we will go to Bali and having a holiday, want to meet us in Bali. Mm. <laughs> what I can say that I think that this year, um, we will definitely choose different countries, um, you know, as our home base and definitely we are not coming back to Bali probably in one year or two years. I think that Thailand will most probably our home base and we are thinking to, uh, you know, like extend our stay here and then maybe apply a new visa so we can stay longer. So honey, what's our plan for the future? For me personally, definitely I'm gonna keep making the YouTube videos that's without any dubs, probably every single day, at least till the end of this year. I'm not planning to make it less or something, but um, um, yeah, probably most likely Thailand is the good place to consider to stay longer. That's without any dubs for many, many reasons. Um, I just hope a little bit more of my older subscriber would like to watch the Thailand because I know two years nearly three years in bali so a little bit different interests so everybody who texting me also don't you realize as your viewers are lower now in thailand and malaysia i know obviously i know and it's gonna be lower for a while until we're gonna get a brand new viewers subscribers who are interested about the thailand obviously that takes time but we not stop believing and by other metrics thailand still is uh, very good so we should survive hopefully <laughs> By the way, look at this beautiful sunset, actually overlooking the Toyota sign. Winnie is going to change, gonna swim. Afternoon, some other people swimming. Actually, it's really enjoyable here. And I also like this palm trees, what they plant here. Actually, very cool. Winnie is enjoying the, <laughs> her time in the swimming pool for the kids. Actually, the water is a little bit cold, at least for my wife. Uh, well, maybe because the condominium and swimming pool facing the sunset time, so at morning here is shed which is actually good to chill at morning, by the way. Also, we find out as the condominiums here in Bangkok, especially the newer one, they are really in the good condition. This one is from 2016, exactly the same year what was the condominium in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, but it's the huge difference how they're taking care of the maintenance of the condos. So uh, that's very good advantage of the condos in here in Bangkok. Uh, well, um, we are planning actually later, if we're gonna stay here for longer while, uh, to have a condominium for about 300 dollars US per month plus bills and I already checked out as is possible three four hundred dollars and in general we are planning to uh, fix our budget of monthly spending for food transportation and accommodation and production of making the videos for about 50,000 baht which is about one and a half thousand dollars I find out as uh, many people think it's complicated and hard, but also many people think as is possible, and I will try to prove it as is possible. However, if I'm mistaken, it's okay, but like, hopefully we can make it. So uh, if you're gonna watching our videos uh, later uh, regarding the Thailand and cost of living in Bangkok, in Thailand, in general, you will find out. Also, we're gonna find out. So the BTS is coming actually right now. And check this out the beautiful sunset what we have from our 15th floor we don't need to go actually to watching the sunset somewhere you know in the <laughs> skyscraper over there uh, or like uh, in the four seasons hotel it's very nice because nothing actually nothing blocking our way to the sunset right now only small buildings at the front so cool i hope so you enjoy uh, i will see you tomorrow as always another video from bangkok from thailand